Hi, Simon Stockhausen here with part 4 of a tutorial about granular synthesis. This is a rather short part of focusing on the shape of a grain, meaning what um, shape does the amplitude of a grain have uh, as it affects the sound quite significantly. Um, in most granulators available, you have a preset of many uh, shapes, like a preset menu. Uh, most common are um, sine, triangle, then we have uh, Han, Blackman Harris, Hanning, uh, rectangulars, and um, this application, Crusher X, also allows the user to draw own waveforms which are then applied to the amplitude, meaning the volume of uh, each grain. So let's start with um, something smoother, hanging or hamming. Um, this is using a cello phrase from uh, my sound library, Granular Symphonies, which I made for Patch Up Pro. Let's listen to the cello without grains first. <laughs> have to do something. Now let's granulate it. Three grains, four grain streams here, slightly offset left and right. Using a Hanning waveform. Now let's use something more edgy. A sharp rectangular will also introduce some clicks. soft rectangular. Let's reduce the length so can we hear better the shape, the amplitude shape of each grain. Turn the birth up so we fragment the audio now. So sharp. Which can, those uh, sharp waveforms can be interesting for percussive material. Now smooth like a triangle wave. Turn up the birth a bit. Blackman Harris. Exotic here is a face. Getting into ring modulation like effects. The more complex the curves get, the more distorted the orgi original sound will be. Now let's uh, make and draw our own curve using the spline feature, which is this window. So we can either now draw creating points or we can create random, automatically random waves, for instance let's use a random, knee random shape. So you see, the sharper the amplitudes are, and the angles, the more noisy we get. Create something more smooth. Let's 
maybe use less points, 20. Something like this. So now I have something like a ramp down. So you get the idea. Now let's have a look quickly at Halion 5 using the same sample because in Halion we have um, also a set of shapes um, which can be changed. Playing the same sample in octaves. See here. little impro with that phrase. This is using a soft shape, the Hanning. Trying will also be soft. Or oh, this has even got a rounder curve. Um, but we also have more Triangle shaped things. It's the Blackman Harris or the Impulse. Which can be good for short grain sizes. Grain length here. So you more the more you reduce the grain length, the more of the original amplitude shape will become audible actually. The less overlaps we have and the more distinct we hear the actual amplitude of each grain. Yeah, that should give you an idea about grain shapes. Um, over and out, bye.